This week you're learning about the nervous system and I just wanted to help you out. One of the responses you can have to a scary event, like let's just say a barking dog, is to activate your sympathetic nervous response system where your heart rate goes up, your <clears throat> blood pressure goes up, respiration goes up. All this stuff happens to be able to activate your body to be able to um, fight that dog or to run away from it. But something else that can happen is a more slower response working through your endocrine system. And this flight or, flight flight or fight response that does happen can trigger your endocrine system to release hormones, epinephrine and norepinephrine. Now, this is critical because it can help maintain this response of arousal to make sure that you keep it up long enough to get away from the dog or whatever it is you're going to do but it also has a feedback loop to help your body regulate this reaction. So it actually contrasts with this original flight or fright response because that response is immediate, fast acting, doesn't last long. Um, if you've ever had a near miss in a car accident, you'll notice you'll be aroused for a short bit of time and then it'll be over with. Whereas the endocrine system really has a more long lasting system and that's because it's working through hormones it takes a long time for those hormones to move through your body and to start changing the makeup of your reaction. And so this flight or fight response, if it's strong enough, can kickstart the endocrine system to keep you aroused over a long period of time um, using these slower moving hormones. Whereas if you didn't need that, you just need to get in, get out, and you're done. So it is really complementary to the nervous system. Um, and it's regulated by the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. Um, it's made up of adrenal glands. These are small glands at the top of each kidney. Each gland is composed of the adrenal medulla and the adrenal cortex, and they produce epinephrine and norepinephrine. And I'll be providing a short video on how all this feedback loop can be um, beneficial to you, but it also, if you think about it, can be detrimental. Um, if you're stressed out at work, that's when the endocrine system will be activated and so the negative effects of being stressed will be long lasting because we're affecting your hormones and so you'll have an initial reaction but you'll be drawing out that reaction which can be harmful to your body.